Android Zero Touch. How to register your company's devices via Zero Touch. There are a few requirements for this. First, you need Android devices with Android 9 or higher. Second, you need a Google Mail address for your company. You could use the same address that you used for registering into Android Enterprise. And lastly, you need to connect contact your reseller or us and we can register you for Android Zero Touch. To do that, we need your company's name and the email address. You will later receive an email with your login data. We can also register your devices. For this, we need the email number or the serial number of the device. Now you can go to your Cortado MDM and on Global Settings, find the button MDM. Here you can select Open Zero Touch Enrollment Portal. You proceed by logging into the portal with the credentials that we have sent you in an email. The next step would be to create a new configuration. We simply click on the plus on the right hand side and now we need to fill out the information in this form. We name our configuration, select a DPC, EMM DPC, which is Cortado in this case. And right here we paste this information and you can find this in the description box below. We need to exchange the access with our host name, with our server address, which is um, this right here. And we need to exchange the Ys with the solution type. So this depends on the enrollment type we want our devices to be in. Um, and this uh, depends on the use case. So do we want our devices to be Kobo? Then we type in FM. If we want our devices to be COPE, then we type in VPCOD. Um, and lastly, we um, type in our company name, the support email address, so from the colleagues that your employees would like to reach if there is any problem, a phone number, and you can leave a customized message. And now we can add the configuration to our list. As you can see, the configuration has been added and we now need to add this configuration to our devices. So we go to devices over here and there is our device. And now we select the configuration we have created. So now the configuration is bound to our device. And please note that in case um, you are going to delete this device from this portal, only your authorized reseller or we as your partner can bring back the device into the portal. The next thing we need to do is to turn on our device now, which we have reset to factory default beforehand, and the zero touch registration will appear on the screen. Let's see how that looks on the device. We can see our device here and continue with the configuration. We need to add our Wi-Fi first. Now our phone is getting ready for the configurations. Now the last thing the user needs to do is to add in his credentials and then he will be ready to go 
and to work with his zero touch and road company owned but with a personal profile device.